The primary components of tears, mucin, aqueous, and lipid, combine to create a complex viscoelastic structure. This complex structure is responsible for a multitude of important functions. Lipids prevent evaporation, lubricate, and stabilize the tears. Meibomian glands at the margins of the upper and lower lids produce and inject complex oil into the tears with each blink. This thin layer of oil prevents tears from evaporating and increases lubrication and comfort. Additionally, the phospholipids found in this oil stabilize the tear layer and improve cohesiveness. In a healthy eye, tear production is carefully balanced and controlled. Excessive evaporation of tears can stimulate overproduction of the aqueous component. This chronic overproduction of aqueous may be linked to eventual inflammation of the lacrimal gland. The symptoms of dry eye can include feelings of dryness, grittiness, burning, ocular tiredness, and discomfort. The oil produced by the meibomian glands becomes increasingly cloudy and thickens further to a paste-like consistency. On manual expression, these properties, as well as plugging of gland orifices, may be evident. As the condition worsens, eyelids display signs of inflammation and dilated blood vessels. With dry eye, sensitivity to environmental factors like wind, temperature, and humidity increases. Interference with normal vision may become noticeable. Often, the individual considers it part of the normal aging process, when in fact, Dry eye can have a significant impact, causing loss of productivity and poorer quality of life. One of the most common treatments for meibomian gland dysfunction and associated dry eye is at-home warm compress therapy. This approach has limited clinical effectiveness. Heat is wicked away by blood vessels in the eyelids, limiting the amount of heat reaching the meibomian glands. Beyond the lack of effectiveness and the onerous routine for the patient, Use of warm compresses can introduce excessive pressure on the globe. The lipoflow system uses heat and pressure to clear blocked meibomian glands. By applying heat directly to the glands on the inner eyelid surface, heat rapidly and efficiently raises gland contents, liquefying any blockage, making it easier to remove from the gland. Gentle pressure is applied from outside the lid from the base of the gland to the gland opening, removing blockage and flushing dead cells from the gland. During this process, stagnant gland tissue may be removed from the glands. Maintaining normal meibomian gland health and function is critical to the long-term maintenance of ocular surface health and good vision.